Hello scientists, welcome to Draw Bar Mat. This video I will show you how to draw a simple version of the sound membrane in PowerPoint. And also at the same time, you can use this technique to quickly create endocytosis or uh, secretion on your cell surface. This is a very simple technique to make your graphic abstract look very professional in PowerPoint. So without further ado, let's get into it. We'll be using these two colors for our cell, and uh, th these are the hex code. Uh, if you want to learn what that is, you can check out the video here. And then uh, first, let's create a, um, an ellipse. Uh, this will be uh, the shape base for our uh, cell. And I will quickly switch its um, fill into it. Um, to get this gradient, uh, which is not the one that we want, uh, because we want a radial gradient. And then uh, we need it to radiate from the center. And then uh, we only need two uh, gradient stops. So that's a select stop and then click on minus to remove it. And then uh, let's fill in the color and um, so to get the color that we uh, set up over here, you need to go to the uh, color window setting and then go to this uh, RGB sliders tab and then key in your hex color code over here. And for the cytosol, we are going to use the lighter brown. So let's key in this hex code. Press enter, then you will get the gradient that you want. Also remember to move the gradient stop to the right for a little bit so it can focus the, uh, the white in the middle. And okay, and now uh, we need to create this uh, membrane. Um, so let's go to the line tab, open it, and in the solid color, let's switch the color to the um, the uh, brown that we have here with the hex code. Let's type it in. Press OK, and now you have the uh, membrane and the color that you want. And let's go to shape format to um, make the stroke thicker. So now you can see it. Uh, better as the cell membrane in a way. The great thing about this technique is that then you can uh, freely scale your cell uh, into any size and then um, it will retain the uh, color setting and also so the stroke setting of your cell so uh, then you can really just uh, accommodate uh, whatever you want to put into the cell by really f freely moving it. Um, so that's uh, why this is a very good technique that can save you a lot of time. And, uh, and you see that here are some uh, of the uh, secretion sites on the cell membrane. And how do we create that? Um, so I will show you how to create that. Um, so let's come to the uh, shape tool and grab your ellipse tool and draw a circle by uh, dragging while uh, pressing shift okay and place this circle on top of the uh, cell and then select both of them and go to the shape format and here you can find a merge shapes uh, tab uh, click on it then you can uh, see that here are these uh, kind of emerging uh, functions that you can use and you want uh, the blue to, uh, to be subtracted uh, away from the cell. So uh, what we need to do is first select the cell, this is very important, and then the, uh, the part that you're going to uh, subtract. The order is very important. And then click on subtract, then uh, you can uh, remove the part uh, the smaller part that you want to take out. So uh, I repeat it again. So this has to do with, this really have to do with the order that you select these objects. So you first have to select the base of your shape and then the part that you want to subtract, then you can successfully subtract it. 
Okay, good. And so now you see that uh, now you have um, a, uh, a site for uh, the secretion that can come out from your cell. And then uh, let's move, let's bring this cell to the front and then it will look like a secretion. Uh, this can also be a site for the endocytosis. So this is a technique that I use to create these secretory sites. Uh, and I highly recommend you to use it for your graphic abstract. This is a quick video to uh, share this tip with you to make your uh, scientific illustration look professional in, graphic, uh, in PowerPoint. So yeah, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and also share it with your colleagues and friends that can really help me to grow my channel. Subscribe to Drawbomb Ad if you like to see more of these tutorials and I look forward to seeing you in the future videos.